Hi, I'm Jessica Marks, Free for Golf.com, enjoying a round with Paul Goidos on the PGA Tour Champions. Cheers to you, Cheers Paul. Cheers to you. Thank you all so right. much for Pleasure's your time all mine. today. Let's have a quick sip. There we go. We are having a beer, Absolutely. but not just any beer. It's Stella. Beautiful. Why did you go with a beer for our little chat today? I guess I need some liquid courage. <laughs> <laughs> um, Would you say though? It's a nice. Yeah, that's what that's what you do after you play golf, guys. When you have a beer afterwards, that's what we do. I don't know if a gin and tonic or whatever works. That's what people do. You, go, you, you play golf, and then I tell you have a beer. Is there anything better no. than that first beer after playing Absolutely golf, right? Not. Especially here. Well, because a lot of the pros that I talk to say, "Oh no, I don't drink." I'm well, I don't really having drink a, my golf, protein yeah. smoothie, no. and I'm drinking. Do water I look like I have protein smoothies? And You're very fit. Yes. If so, You're youthful. Yes. Round is a shape. <laughs> Well, you've, you've only been on the Champions Tour a couple years, right. but you've won in each of those years. Right. So how do you explain your longevity on tour and the success that you've had? Boy, that's a, how much time do we have? <laughs> um, you know, I, I just one of those guys that's kind of been in the right place at the right time and got through things. And so I'm kind of a survivalist, for lack of a better word. I'm not a superstar in these other things. I'm a guy who just kind of kept grinding out. And I've always had pretty good timing in the sport. How do the wins out here compare to the wins on the PGA Tour? Wins are all, all wins are special. Champions Tour is, doesn't sound right, but slightly less glamorous. And out here you're beating your peers, your own age group. One generation of players, maybe two. Out there you're beating the best players in the world and that's a little more satisfying, but you know, all wins are pretty special. Well, one thing that I know a lot of people remember about your career is the near miss at the players. Yes. Now, when you look back on that day, uh, playoff with Sergio, what sticks out to you most? Well, first of all, I haven't looked back at it until now for a while, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> you mean you don't think about it on a daily basis? Uh, not on a daily basis. <laughs> I go back and forth. Mm. Uh, I actually played pretty good on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Sergio just played better. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in life you just get beat. Number 17, love it or hate it? Oh, I think it's brilliant. I yeah. mean, the fact that it's a short club, a nine iron or a wedge or whatever, now these guys are in sand wedges there. I have no problem with a guy saying, hey, if you want to win one of the most prestigious events, and you can almost argue the tip of most difficult event with the best field, you got to stand up and hit a short iron on a green. I don't think we're asking. It's not, I know people think you can't recover from it. Well, that's great. That's what, that's, I think that's the best part about it is that you can't recover from it. Set them up and do your job. Yeah. And I think it's, so I think it's terrific. Back in 2010, you became the fourth player to shoot a 59. Right. And you did it birdieing eight of the last right. nine holes. Yeah, absolutely. Now, at what point on that back nine did you start thinking 59 was well, possible? You're not supposed to. <laughs> right. You know, you know, <laughs> but you know, it's like talking how do you keep like, that out, It's like right? talking to yourself about a no-hitter. Um, <laughs> I part, birdied the first five on the back nine, and I parred 15, which is a pretty hard hole, and I was walking to 16, and made birdie the last three to shoot 59. And I, it's a little bit of a walk, you know, maybe 60 yards to the next tee, and I said, hey, you've got a unique opportunity here. This is not a time to be concerned about whether you can do it. It's a time to go do it. Embrace this. By the time I got to the tee, I was back in, the present. I think I was a little bit lucky that I got back into the, for lack of a better word, the zone after I had that little hiccup thinking about the future. Do you have any mementos from that round? Yeah, well, I got the golf balls I played with. I signed some and gave some to the volunteers who followed us from gloves, and I have the scorecard. You're known for your dry sense of humor. Everyone yes. says that to you. Okay. Is there Who else is funny on tour? Everybody is. It's, you know, because golf Golf makes you funny because there's so many crazy things. But not things as funny happen. as you. You have something special. Um, I think it's, I have the ability to articulate it a little bit better, and I'm not afraid to. I think everybody's just as funny. It's just that I tend to say it. <laughs> I don't know that I'm any funnier as much as I tend to say more things. And if you throw enough things against the wall, everything sometimes they'll stick with people. Has it ever gotten you in trouble? Your sense of oh, humor? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Really? Most people don't get it. I get letters and pro ams when I'm sarcastic. Sure. Really? You no, know, not everybody gets it, and yeah. and, and, and and you know. That's okay. I mean, what am I going to do? I, I'm going to be me, and 99% and of the people understand that. I, I gave the guys I played with today a hard time. I mean, what are you going to do? You know? <laughs> yeah, they know. all hit shots, and they all hit it 50 yards off the green. And I go, you understand what that flag is there for? You know, that kind of stuff. And it's, it's, some people just think you're a jerk when you say it. It's <laughs> yeah, just a yeah. small percentage. All right. Well, I can't let you go without okay. asking you for some parenting advice. You have two lovely mm -hmm. daughters, grown mm -hmm. up now. But I'm a new mom now. All I right. need some advice mm -hmm. on how to raise a daughter. Well, good luck. <laughs> that, that question's been asked for, for forever, and no one's, no one's had successfully answered it. You know, children are your life. And, and, and more important, this doesn't sound a little technical, they're your responsibility. Mm. And, and I think when you, as a parent, you have responsibility to, you know, to raise your kids to be contributors to society. And I think we lose that a little bit. And 
they're more important than your job, they're more important than your car, they're more important than your house, and the most important thing you will do is be a parent. And if you take that attitude, you're probably gonna be a pretty good parent. It is the most important thing you'll ever do. Mm -hmm. Well, cheers to that. There you I go. couldn't agree there you with go. you more, and I can't thank you enough for your time. Pleasure's all mine. Paul, appreciate Thanks. it. All right.